to Sunday. It is November the 5th. It is 8.36 p.m. It is late, late for me to be doing an episode, but I thought I would um, throw an episode in, a Sunday episode. You may have noticed that for the last week or so, I, I haven't done a Sunday episode. Um, for those of you who are just joining me, by the way, over 3,000 subscribers, and that has not gone unnoticed. Thank you so much. Um, I know that there are people, I'm sure, that are like, well, 3,000, that's not that many, but for me, it's quite impressive, and I love it, and I love every, every single being that has decided to um, subscribe to this channel, all 3,000 of you. <laughs> You're amazing. Thank you so much. And I'm quite honored. Honestly, I'm humbled by it all. So thank you. But one of the reasons why I haven't been necessarily uploading consistently, a part of it is that I am continuing to go through the mourning process with my mother. And it continues to be a difficult thing. Um, by the way, today I wanted to talk about my thoughts on beginning your process or your journey in um, whether it be astral project projecting excuse me, or shifting. So I wanted to talk about that. But I also wanted to make sure that I open up with you guys and share some things that I've been dealing with. <laughs> One of the weird things that I've been dealing with um, by the way, is this whole thing with my expanded self. I trust my expanded self and my guides implicitly. I trust them 100% completely. And I know they love me unconditionally and I love them. Um, but it's been interesting because one of the recent experiences I had that I did not share on this channel was a communication with my mom and there was a communication going on and I knew it was going on, but I believe it was my more expanded self that was m mostly communicating with her. And I think she was asking me how things are going in a way, <laughs> but on that level, it's, you know, I don't know. It's on, on my expanded self's level. It's, it's a whole different thing, and it's, it's difficult to articulate in words what was going on, and I didn't remember most of it, but I've, I've found myself a bit, I know this is going to sound weird, but I'm going to share this with you guys, and you guys can think I'm weird for this. I felt a sense of jealousy in a way, because I know that it's my more expanded self that's kind of communicating, and I'm not taking as much information, I guess. Um, to be able to have as my own in a way, even though it is me. I know this sounds really strange, but this is something I have been going through. Um, and so I didn't share that part. And then I had an experience where I've been trying to get to um, Atlantis. I've been thinking about Atlantis and visiting that place. And I had an experience where I was telling my more expanded self that I wanted to go to Atlantis. I wanted to be there. And I remember I reached that in-between place and I'm like, okay, I want to be in Atlantis. Again, these experiences don't always turn out the way that I think they're going to turn out because the place that I was in didn't look like what I thought Atlantis should look like. I mean, well, I know I'm pretty sure that Atlantis was on the earth before it went into the water. But I guess I was thinking of a place in the water and this place wasn't, and it looked like a, just a normal city to me. And, you know, I, at one point I remember telling my more expanded self, I'm like, um, this doesn't look like, this doesn't look like Atlantis. <laughs> I don't know what this, what is this place? I don't know what this place is. It kind of reminded me of, in some ways, Chicago in a way. I don't know. It was really, really strange. Perhaps um, if some of you guys ask me to, maybe I'll 
talk more in depth about it, but there wasn't really much more to go over other than when I asked what city or what place this was, someone told me it was the city of genuine, but I don't know what that is. You know, like something that's genuine, that's true or whatever. That's what the person said. I'm just telling you what the person said. And sometimes I hear these words and I think to myself, hmm, maybe there is no translation in the English language or any other language that's out there. So my mind comes up with the closest thing that a a being is telling me. And so that's what it is. I don't know. Anyway, let me get into beginning your journey. And this is something that I have talked about before in the past and something I like to kind of reiterate or go over again, especially for those younger folks or for people who are just coming in to begin either astral projection or shifting. One of the things that I have seen on the subreddit, I've seen people talking more in the different subreddits, whether it be the astral projection subreddit or the um, or the shifting subreddit, they're mentioning astral projection in the shifting Reddit subreddit, and they're mentioning shifting in the astral projection um, Reddit. And one of the things I'm seeing is people are saying things like, "Well, is it easier to go through astral projection to be able to get into shifting?" And since I guess I'm sort of a hybrid, what I mostly say is, "Look." None of this stuff is easy. (laughs) Lucid dreaming isn't easy. Astral projection isn't easy. Shifting isn't easy. By the way, there are no shortcuts, okay? I mean, I don't, I understand people want to just get to where they want to get to, but these, these things don't have shortcuts to them. It's a journey. Each thing is a journey. To achieve astral projection is a journey. To achieve lucid dreaming is a journey. There are many people out there, as I have said before, that have attempted lucid dreaming but haven't been able to achieve it. Um, Shifting is a journey, okay? It's all, you know, difficult. It's not easy, guys. Anything worth achieving is difficult and it takes time and it takes patience and it takes work. There will be some people, as I have said before, that will achieve it quickly, that will be able to see results. They'll see what they call, I guess, symptoms or whatever it is that they say. They'll see it quickly. There'll be others who struggle and who won't get anything, who will fall asleep. I'm just being honest with you. Okay, so a lot of people actually, this will probably happen to, they will fall asleep, they will lose patience, they'll be like, this this, does, this stuff doesn't really exist, and then they'll just give up, okay? And then they'll just move on, and that's fine. But I'm being honest with you, unlike maybe <laughs> of some of those people out there that say, oh, it's easy, it's easy. I don't believe that at all, guys. It's not easy. I want to stress that again. This is not an easy process. This takes work. Now, one of the ways that I think you can begin this journey is to really ask yourself the question, why? Why do I want to do this? Now, I have said this before in other videos, but I think it's important to again reiterate this. Why? Why do you want to do this? Do you want to do this because you're an explorer like me? I'm a traveler. I love doing this stuff. I love to explore new realities and see things I've never seen before. Like arriving in that theater that one time, this, this, this particular shift sticks out in my mind where it was, I arrived in a theater that was both a theater and a restaurant and there was a screen of water that was suspended in midair breaking every law of physics that I know of. And I was able to stick my hand through this water and it was rushing around me. Are you an explorer or do you want to go to a specific place? Do you want to go to a DR? Are you someone who wishes to perma shift? Now, this is something that I've talked about before. Um, And if you want to know what my views are on perma shifting, you can look at the previous video that I did on perma shifting, I, I did make statements on that. But so 
you have to ask yourself what it is that you want to do, what it is that you want to achieve first. Then I would suggest that you do some research. Go out there and look things up. I would suggest that you look at things that are both positive and some of the negatives that are out there that people say. Look at the full spectrum of things. After you finish doing your research, after you finish looking at things and seeing what these things are, I would suggest that you throw everything out. (laughs) Forget everything you have read or seen about shifting or anything like that. Just throw it out. Get rid of it. And the reason why is because every, in my belief, every person's journey is unique. Okay? So if you're going to get out there and say, well, this person was experiencing this and I'm not experiencing this, you're, yeah, I don't believe you're going to succeed. You're going to really actually make things a lot more difficult for yourself because each ber- person's journey is unique, right? Each person's journey is unique, and you will find your own path to this. So forget everything. In fact, I would suggest that even listening to my videos and listening to the things I say, I would forget everything I say too, by the way, because that is my unique journey. Now, there may be some things that come up that you find that are similar, to me, right? In the way that I move, like I always talk about when I shift, I feel this sense of movement and I'm traveling through darkness at this very, very fast speed. And then I arrive and darkness lifts and then suddenly I am in the reality. That is my experience. Other people may experience other things. And by the way, I experience shifting in different ways. I have also experienced it in a way in which I have seen something where I close my eyes, I could see a place, and then once I reach out with my mind and touch something in that place, I become, I not become, but I am I actually arrive in that place. I'm able to shift to that place. So there are different ways that I am able to transition from this reality to some other reality, but your way of doing it is probably going to be different. I would assume it's going to be different. So you're going to have your own path. Once you throw all this stuff out, I would suggest that you begin to practice just quieting your mind, right? You don't have expectations when you lie down to quiet your mind, to quiet your thoughts. You're not thinking to yourself, okay, This time I'm going to shift. This time I'm going to astral project. This time I'm going to lucid dream. Whatever it is that you were attempting to experience, you're not necessarily focused on that, especially in the very beginning. In the very beginning, your focus is quieting your thoughts. In quieting thoughts in a way, and what what, what I'm saying is, is, making the noise from the world because the world is very noisy with all the things that are happening in the world. We take that stuff in, we absorb it in the, with, 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 with what's happening in the news, with what's happening with our family, whatever. We absorb all this stuff in, and in our minds when we lie down and we go to sleep, a lot of times this noise is still there and it's really loud. And what our job is in the very beginning is to turn that noise down to the point where it's at zero. Now, one of the things that I have done in the past is I've imagined a radio. This tells you how old I am and the volume knob. And I turn the volume knob down to zero. That's one of the things that I do. And then So I take everything, all the noise and everything, and I put it into that radio, and then I turn it down to zero. What you can do is whatever device you can think of where you can turn the volume down, you just imagine the volume going down. You put all the stress, the noise, and everything into that device, and then you just keep turning it down until it's at zero, and it's quiet. And then you can lie there and relax 
and just be, you know, seriously, just be there. Now, to me, that is your first step. And once you can get that, well, you can proceed from there. Perhaps next Sunday, I will talk about the next step after you were able to quiet your thoughts, but that's something to work on. (laughs) And my goodness, it's at 15 minutes. My God, this video, it just, everything just goes so fast. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. I hope this was helpful, guys. Until next time, take care.